Hi, welcome to the installation guide for Webots Blockly. If you don't already know, Webots is a simulation platform and you can see it in front of you. Inside this world, we can add robots and objects and then we can program the robots to interact with its environment. Blockly is an addition to Webots and it's the window you see to the left of you. In Webots Blockly, this window, you can use drag and drop programming to program these robots to interact with the simulation. Continue watching to see how to install Webots Blockly. The first step to installing Webots Blockly is installing Webots itself. To install Webots, you'll have to visit this website, cyberbotics.com. The link to each website we visit during this tutorial will be in the description. When you reach cyberbotics.com, come to the download button in the middle, hit the drop down menu, and based on what operating system you're using, click on the proper installer. Since I'm using Windows, I'm going to click on Windows install. Once your installer has been downloaded, open it up and run it. I'm going to hit install for me only. And I'm going to hit next, next, and then install. And this will start your installation. One thing to note is that at the time that this tutorial was made, Webots Blockly is only compatible with Webots R2020B, as you can see on the screen. If you're trying to install Webots Blockly a while later than this tutorial was made, this might have changed. You might need a different version of Webots. To see what version of Webots you need, make sure you double check the Webots Blockly documentation, which will also be linked in the description. A quick note, once your Webots finishes installing, it might prompt you to open up Webots. You can exit out of those windows as we won't be opening Webots through the normal icon. We will be opening Webots using a folder that we will download from GitHub later. So when it prompts you to open up Webots, you can close out all of those windows. We will open Webots later. The second thing that you will need to install is Python. Again, the version of Python that you need depends on when you're performing this installation. To determine what version of Python that you need, first determine what version of Webots you have to download. Once you have figured that out, visit this website, which is again linked in the description, scroll down to the introduction, and go to the second paragraph, and it will list what versions of Python Webots supports. Uh, we are going to be installing Python 3.8. So, go to the download website for Python, and I'm going to find Python 3.8. So, I have Python 3.8.6. Now, select which installer you want to use. If you're unsure, you probably want the Windows x86-64 executable installer. Click on this to download the Python installer, and open it when it is done downloading. Now, this is incredibly important. You must file this step. When you first bring up this Python installer, you must check add Python 3.8 to path. This is very important. If by accident you forgot to check this box or you've previously installed Python and didn't check this box, see our commonly seen bugs documentation, which will also be linked in the description, and find the section where we add Python to path using the environmental variables window. From here, after you've checked the second box, you may hit install now, and this will install Python. The last thing that you have to do to install Webots Blockly is download our GitHub repository for Webots Blockly. To do this, visit the GitHub link in the description, come down, hit the green drop-down button, and hit download a zip. And open the zip when it finishes downloading. When it opens, go to the top and press on compressed folder tools if you're not already in this tab already. From there, press extract all and hit browse to select where to download your project folder. Make sure you remember where you save this project folder. This is very important. I'm going to save this into my robotics folder. I'm going to select this folder. And then I'm going to hit extract. Open up the folder 
that you extracted your Weboss Bockley folder to, and then go into the Weboss Bockley folder. Remember, this is your project folder that you downloaded off the of GitHub. Go into the Worlds folder and double click on empty.wbt. It should be the file with the red ladybug as its icon. From here, it will prompt you to open Weebots. Since we are opening Weebots for the first time, um, it will ask you to select a theme. And then we're going to open Weebots. And now we are in the environment for using Webots Blockly. If you want to use the Blockly extension of Webots, you have to make sure that you open up Webots through this empty.wbt file. If you, know, if you open up Webots using the Webots icon, you will not have access to the Blockly extension unless it automatically opens to this specific world. But just in general, just make sure you open Webots using this empty.wbt file. When you first open up the file empty.wbt, what you see may look a little bit different from what you see on the screen. There's an optimal window layout that we want to use when using Webots Blockery. To arrive to this optimal window layout, follow these steps. The first thing you want to do is open up the Blockery window if it's not already open up already. To do so, click on the robot bullet point in this window over here, right click, and select show robot window. And that will open up the Webots Blockery window. And this is where you're going to do your drag and drop program. Next thing you want to do is collapse this column here. We do not need this window and it just takes up space. To do so, click on this column's right border and drag it to the left until it collapses entirely. The next thing that we want to do is close out of this window over here. Again, it just takes up space. For this window, the text editor, make sure you cl first close out of any files open within the text editor. So I'm going to close out of these files. Make sure that you do not edit those files. And then you can click exit out of the text editor, it's text editor itself. And from there, you can drag this border and resize the screen as you desire. And this is the optimal window, window layout for using Webots Blockery. Now for one last completely optional little tip. So we've stated in this tutorial that whenever you want to use Webots Blockery, you must, must, must open one of the worlds within this worlds folder that's in the Webots Blockly folder that you downloaded off GitHub. If you don't open a world from this folder, then you will not have access to the drag and drop Webots Blockly extension. So you might find it a little annoying to open up this folder every time. So one thing you can do is create a shortcut to one of these worlds. So let's say I like the empty world, so I want to always use that one. What you can do is you can right click on it, you can hit create shortcut and then from there you can either drag the shortcut into your background or you can cut and you can move it to desktop and as you see both in both scenarios they will show up in the back in your background and you can access your Webots Blockly world immediately. That is everything that you need to install to use Webots Blockery. If there are any errors during installation, be sure to check if your error is listed inside the commonly seen bugs document. To learn how to actually use Webots Blockery, be sure to check out more of our other tutorials. Other than that, that concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching.